first of all, congratulations on America's Family. It's so impactful. I remember this from Dances with Films a few years back. And it, every single time I've seen it, it keeps on being as impactful. For you, your journey through it, um, how do you begin to embody a character like this? There's, there's so many aspects to it. There's so much going on in his life. It's just, it's tragic. Yeah, it definitely is. It's it's a lot. It's a lot of things. Um, there's definitely a lot going on in the film. Um, <clears throat> that's awesome, man. Thank you for having me also, first of all. Um, it's an honor to be here. Pleasure as well. So, yeah, it's... Um, I think when you when I first started reading the script and hearing the stories, you know, you you do you take it in on some level, and then you start reading more about it, hear more about the realities of this and how common it is, and how often it happens, and you realize that wow, there's this is a it is tragic, you know. There's a lot of tragedy behind it, but also like through this, you know, a lot of times through tragedy we find. Um, brings us together we that's where we are we show up our strongest as as, as individuals and uh, hopefully this story reflects that that this story that through tragedy this family uh, comes to res resolves a lot of issues that they have and a lot of things and um come closer together in the end somehow yeah for, for your character specifically uh for a lot of people they might think that this character story is very unique very much a one-time thing but it's something that happens a lot you know, peop, uh, stuff that pe people have already dealt with in the past come back to kind of haunt them. Um, what kind of stories did you research in order to become this character? Uh, so a lot of uh, this, you're, as you, you said, this is a common occurrence. Like this happens quite a bit. Um, and it's been in the papers a lot more recently. Um, but I think uh, for me, it's like, I think uh, we've known people that this has happened to. Like we're immigrants ourselves, you know, my family is. Uh, I immigrated here as a child. So there's, you hear, you see different scenarios play out for different people and you can't really justify or understand why different people end up in different places later on in life. So the kids that I grew up with were all in different situations, like even um, like within uh, immigration, you know, some people do have status, some people don't, some people live in fear, some people don't, they just choose to move on and some have, you know, filed and become citizens. Um, so for me to approach this, um, you do a lot as much research as possible to actual real life stories for me. I think that's always really important because you are portraying, you know, or you're portraying a, a, someone's real life. And for me, at least, I think the greatest, I think, um, level would be to uh, to really live that story out as closely and as authentically as possible. So I would say um, the, for when I first met with the director, she gave me a book and it was this book this thick and it was just full of stories um, based on people that are coming or have gone that have been through this specific immigration uh, situation with different <laughs> outcomes. So all of them have all of them have lived here in the States uh, for a long time and then they get deported uh, back to their homelands. So it's a book that all just talks about everyone reintegrating back to a, a motherland quote unquote a homeland that they don't know because they've been raised here you know and then they go back as adults and the different reactions and experiences that they each have so i was fortunate enough to have that book given to me by anika direct uh, tourist director and uh it was very very illuminating and really led me to just grab grab a lot of material and a lot of emotion to try to really replicate that there's not only fear in your character, but the complexity of the anger. I mean, he's being treated like a criminal when he has done nothing wrong. There's a lot of people who, who live in this country who do their job, you know, take care of their family and live a normal life. And all of a sudden, everything th gets thrown into chaos. That anger, how do you even begin to embody it? Because for me, it's it's just so much more complex than just fear yeah you're right it is <clears throat> and uh i think when when a situation like this arises i think you go into uh all those you into all the emotions you know you don't know and they're popping up at different times you know sometimes you're going to feel extremely angry like you're saying sometimes you're going to be f completely fearful and that's just you know part of the the entire experience right and we're allowed to have it's hard to learn that but it's 
really beautiful to allow that to happen in a way you have to own that. Um, so yeah, the, I think the fear is, uh, you know, you tap into whatever is there organically in, in the moment. And then you also, I think, the, you know, day to day, I think we live with at least, you know, you walk through life and you're not allowed to express fully. So I think there's always like a little, there's like a little holding like a little cup or something you could say that's holding on to the emotions. And then uh, fortunately for me, at least in my approach or so, and as an actor, you know, if that cup is full, like with all these emotions, I'm fortunate enough to be able to release them or have a, 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 a way to, uh, to release them, which in this case is like, would be an acting, you know, acting. I have a processor, um, mm -hmm. something, a way to release them. So uh, how important was having such amazing co-stars? Because everybody seems to have given their, their all, you know, how happy are you acting alongside, you know, this amazing cast? Yeah, very, very happy. I mean, it's very, it, it's interesting because I, I shot the first stuff years ago and then they started shooting more and more of it. So I didn't get to meet the cast till later on. And I met them very sporadically, like we shot a lot during COVID. So that's when I started meeting most of them. But the first, a lot of the stuff I shot alone. And, um, but even from the get go, it's like, I think, yeah, you feel everyone is in this film. You're, you're exactly what you said. Everyone is given their best and you see that. And that's really, it's great because it makes you also want to do better. It makes you want to give your best. And it's just everyone, I think everyone involved in this project because it's such a, you know, independent feature. Everyone has to give their best and show up and do whatever they can. You know, it's a one shot, our, all of our one shot. So everyone gives it uh, the most. It's really nice. It was great working with everybody else. Definitely. And uh, Chila is an organization that's been around forever. They're very helpful to the Hispanic community and immigrants in general. Um, how happy are you? What are your feelings about uh, this film being sponsored by them? Yeah, it's great. I mean, Chirla has come a long way and they continue growing. And Angelica Salas, who I'm sure you know, she is, she's tremendous. She's a tremendous force and she's very, uh, she's great. She's brilliant. So she's really championing and pushing the right, the movements forward and really growing the organization and the outreach. I think it just keeps growing exponentially. So it's lovely to be a part of something um, in both, you know, you, you're touching on art and you're also touching on activism, which is great. You know, I'll do two things at once. Definitely. Well, thank you very much for your time. Uh, this was a fantastic project, very touching, very impactful, and congratulations on such a great performance as well. Thank you so much, and thank you for having me.